This movie starts with a girl called Magda, waking up from a nightmare, who is a carrier-focused woman. She has a boyfriend, who works in the same company, where she works at. Her routine is ordinary, running in the morning before work. One thing is for sure, that she does not like dogs at all. She is expecting her boss to retire today and give her the position she already dreamed about. Her manager gives her the dog and goes for a run with it. Meanwhile, her boyfriend meets her and starts to reveal about the future plan, like having babies, going to vacation before they move back into the office. On the other hand, we can see a father sitting with his young son. The man is a widow, whose name is K.R. Zistoff, whose son desperately want him to look for women, or in other words a mother for himself. We are moved to the scene, where Magda is about to get promotion she already worked hard for. The dream almost came true, until the manager finally found out about her dog being demolished at her office table. This was devastating for her and she cancel any promotion Magda was about to be given. Since Magda gave away the dog to his boyfriend, who she finds cheating, he was the one who planned it all to steal away. The position and she finally says goodbye to her office and the security guard, who was always friendly to her. Once again, K.R. Zistoff and his son are talking about his mother's death, where the son want him to get a girlfriend desperately. We can see them coming back to their apartment, where a neighbor comes and talks to him as if she was interested in the man. It was clear, she wanted to be in a relationship with the man. However, K.R. Zistoff was not interested in her neither his son. His son set their apartment up for a new guest, specifically for a woman, so that he can meet up with someone. Meanwhile, Magda realizes that her ex-boyfriend took his job and because of him she might also be able to get her job back. So she decided to go attend a Datshun parade, which were about dogs. The thing that she will do there will be revealed later on in this video. However, she decided to go to Warsaw to live in the same building, where the organizers of the parade lives. She finally reaches there, while we can see K.R. Zistoff working on his job. She takes the stairs to reach the apartment, however for welcoming her into their home, they all decided to set up a nice welcome gift and everything else beforehand. The incident gave her some other impression and she calls some cops on them. She gets to know the cop as their friend and they were not really harming anyone. Later on, K.R. Zistoff and his son comes and takes her back in their house after saying sorry. They are sitting on the dinner table and gets introduced to everyone. While at the table, Magda decide to help them organize the parade, since they are the one to take care of it. She also feels a bit hesitant toward their dog as if she was worried about something. Next day, she goes to the government agency to get some approvals regarding the parade in upcoming days, however the women was, not really giving her the attention she needed and sends her to another employee's instead. The next employee does the same thing and send her somewhere else after making some excuses. All this takes a while and she ends up coming back to the same women. However, seeing her determination she finally approve her file and Magda tells this to all the people. She wakes up the next morning and finds the dog licking her on her bed. <laughs> The dog takes her ID card and run away with it and makes her run after it, because this can get her in trouble, because they will know that she is a journalist. She finally is able to take it from the dog. Magda takes a couple of pictures from the house and investigate further until the little dog starts barking at Magda, and she takes the dog to a long walk. Upon arriving back, the dog is giving signs that something is wrong with it. But, Magda was too indulged into her investigation and walks out of the house upon getting a text from K.R. Zistoff. She arrives at a local bar and meets K.R. Zistoff and the main organizer of the parade. After talking about some work, she moved out of there and watches K.R. Zistoff's son getting bullied by some students. He answer all the questions and impresses the only girl he likes in school. While K.R. Zistoff's friend was playing a guitar, K.R. Zistoff takes a closer look at Magda and smiles. It was clear, he started to like her a bit. They were arriving back, but father and son run away to eat something. Meanwhile, Magda arrives back at home. There she finds little dog lying down on the floor as if something was very wrong with him. Luckily his friend and the animal vet was on the call with her, who realized that this is a muscle spasm and gives her instructions to fix it. When they arrive home, she was about to reveal her incident to them, but finds out that little dog is all good and recovered. Later on both of them goes outside and have some talk, meanwhile something happens that makes them both come closer to each other. Magda can be seen working for the parade and helping out all the organizers. The women who envy her a lot sees her taking a video of everything and calls her a journalist, however little boy helps her out saying, his father was the one to give her permission. In the evening, Magda and K.R. Zistoff's eyes meet each other's eyes. Finally she started to get along with the dog as well. This woman, who envies her, tried to ruin the whole event for some reason, while Magda records everything. Both father and son had no idea about any of her actions and recordings she was making. Soon we can see the stalker women walking inside K.R. Zistoff's house and sneaking the dog out of there as if she was planning on something. Upon K.R. Zistoff arriving home, he finds the door open and figures out that the dog had left the house on his own, 
which makes him think that Magda was the one to blame. They both go out in order to find the dog, but Magda starts to cry in the middle of their discovery. It was clear she was feeling guilty about it. However, something good was about to happen their way. Someone spots the dog and sends her a text about it. Soon we can see the little dog has been found by them. Magda touch him a little and they go back home after giving the little dog a bath in the park. Their relationship was also getting better each time they sat and talked. It was evident that they were deeply in love at this point. We can see them sitting and enjoying a date together and talking about life and their feelings. She also reveals to K.R. Zistov that because of them she feels she finally have someone in her life. K.R. Zistov shows her a sculpture that he made for her which was a couple kissing each other and looking at this. They finally kiss passionately. Next morning, his boss also suggests him that he is in love. She wakes up in the morning without any clothes on and get called by someone. She finds out the son and his uncle sitting outside. Magda later teach the son the tricks that he will have to use in the parade and motivates him about it. We can see her ex coming to the house and disrupting the peace for her and K.R. Zistov. He tries to again play with her feelings, however, she knew all his tricks and kicks him out of the house. Mm -hmm. But the women who envy Magda takes him to her house to drink some tea. Later on, the same woman arrives back to K.R. Zistov apartment along with Magda's ex and let him download all the video files from her laptop. In a few days, while the whole family was watching a famous news channel, they see that all the videos of them preparing for the event has been leaked to the media and it is all over the news channel. This was a huge mistake done by Magda and upset K.R. Zistov tells her to leave the apartment as soon as she could. Magda comes back and starts to miss K.R. Zistov and his son. Meanwhile, K.R. Zistov himself was missing her with all his heart. However, he did not pick up her texts or calls. Next morning, she reaches the office, while the event was about to start the same day. But K.R. Zistov's son was not participating in it, even though his uncle motivates him to do it. Back in Magda's office, her boss sees her and fire the man who stole the videos on the spot because she knew the videos were not from him but Magda. Magda gets a call in the middle and gets to know K.R. Zistov son was not participating in the event, to which she decides to come back to the event to help him out. She gets on a fast bike along with his friend to reach the event quickly and they were finally there. She encouraged K.R. Zistov son to go into the event and it goes pretty well. Even makes people laugh a little. After the show, Magda finally meets up with K.R. Zistov and apologizes to him for her actions, and he forgives her. <laughs> this results in them kissing each other with pure love and the family walks away with joy. Watch more romance recaps like this only on NRecaps.